So the Buffalo Sabres dropped their fourth in a row against the Detroit Red Wings, losing 5-3. to three. The Sabres just make so many defensive miscues in poor coverage in their own zone, and even in transition, they just make countless mistakes that keep biting them in the butt. And you could argue, well, Paul, they were down for nothing and then they scored three goals to make it a game. I'd still argue they shouldn't be down four goals in the first place. This Sabres team has a lot of talent. Problem that I think they're facing is a lot of the youth in the lineup. This has been far from a pretty four game stretch. They would start off this losing streak, losing to the Blues six to four, then the Carolina Hurricanes six to two. They were more competitive against the Nashville Predators losing that game two to one and then again last night they lost five to three to the Red Wings. So what is the issue here in Buffalo? Are the Sabres just not scoring? I don't think that's the problem. While I would like a little bit more depth scoring in their third and fourth line, they're having solid production from their top players and I believe Tage Thompson who's missed a bit of time this season will eventually start to heat up as well. It's a mixture of the defense and the goaltending. Some of the goals that the Sabres lit up is just poor defensive coverage in their own end and some poor transition play as well but I could also argue the goaltending has been just as bad now Devin Levi has not played in this four game losing streak but UPL and Comrie have Comrie has been horrific in this stretch this is the stats for the three goalies on the season thus far UPL in 13 games played has a 2.81 goals against average and a 907 save percentage. He has the best stats on the team as of right now. Devin Levi in nine games played has a 3.73 goals against average and an 876 save percentage. He is not having a good statistical year. And then Eric Comrie in seven games played a 4.01 goals against average and an 863 save percentage. While I could just sit here and only blame the defense, UPL and Comrie have their fair share of blame in this as well. Now Comrie has been a lot worse than UPL. But even with UPL, some of the goals that have gone in haven't been the most difficult shots against. So are the Sabres doomed? I hate to say it, with such a deep Atlantic division, I don't see a great path forward for them. You have the Bruins, you have the Red Wings, you have the Florida Panthers, you have the Toronto Maple Leafs, you have the Tampa Bay Lightning. Could they battle for the sixth spot in the Atlantic division? Yeah, but they're not a playoff team. There's just too many mistakes in their own end, poor transition play, the one thing I can give them is they can score goals in bunches, but they just can't keep it out of their own net. I feel bad for Devin Levi because I think he has a huge amount of potential. But unless Buffalo starts dedicating themselves to a complete 200 foot game, it doesn't matter how good the goaltender is. These are NHL level shooters. You give them odd man rushes or allow them free space in high scoring areas, they're going to make you pay every single time. So for me, I think this is another year in which the Buffalo Sabres have missed the playoffs. But I'd like to know your thoughts down below. Do you believe the Sabres can turn around? I'm Captain Paul. I'll see you in the next one.